Mm -hmm. Am I on? Yes. Am I on? Shush. Okay. <laughs> so it's December 10th, about 6.30 in the morning. It's about 18 degrees out here, <laughs> and we're standing on top of Cahokia Mounds, just east of St. Louis. Uh, behind me is a full moon, which will soon be going into a full lunar eclipse as it sets, kind of a rare experience, while at the same time behind us, the sun is already beginning to rise. So this could be a very interesting and beautiful experience. Oh, am I on? Am I on? Okay. <laughs> so it's about 6.55 and as you can see, we're getting a little bit brighter out here. You can see the shadow creeping across the moon. It's a little hard to see, I'm sure, in the camera, but from here, we can see it nice and clearly. It's about a third of the way covered. The moon's starting to turn nice and orange. Uh, over my right shoulder, you can see downtown St. Louis in the nice early morning sun, which is getting very bright on the eastern horizon behind us. Yeah, we'll get that in there again. So you can see it's practically day here, yet we still have the full moon out, which is slowly eclipsing. And it's still cold. Okay, so it's now about 7.04 a.m. And over my shoulder, you probably cannot see anything, but through the stacks of the refinery back there, we can just we can just barely make out a little bit of the moon left. It's about two-thirds of the way covered with Earth's shadow, and it's turning a sort of pale orange, pinkish color. But with the bright morning sun coming up, there's not much, uh, not enough contrast to be able to see the moon there. We can still see it just a little bit. What I find very interesting is I was expecting the shadow to come upward across the moon as it would go down and it would pass into shadow. And actually, it's going the other way around. The shadow, as the moon is here, the shadow is creeping down across the moon, even though the sun's coming up over here, and that must be because of the moon's rotation around the Earth. It's moving farther up, even though the sun's light is actually coming from over there. It's actually coming underneath the Earth. So if you imagine the sun is here, the Earth is here, and the moon is back here, and this light was coming under the Earth, but the moon must be rotating around even though we're turning, so it looks like the moon is going down. It's kind of an optical illusion. It's pretty cool. So the sun is scheduled to set at 7.08. I'm sorry, the sun will rise at 7.08. The moon is scheduled to set at 7.08. So exact same time, so we might actually catch a glimpse of both for a brief moment as the moon is disappearing. Okay, let's see. Go ahead. You're, you're on? Mm -hmm. We're on again. Well, it is now officially 7.08, and if you look behind us, the sun is just starting to peek up over the trees. We can't quite see the sun, and behind us, yeah, the moon has pretty much disappeared into eclipse, but otherwise it would be setting right now, but it has been fully eclipsed for just a few minutes, so it disappeared just a couple minutes ago. And you can just see a sliver of the sun through the trees there. You see it now? Uh, can you see it in the camera? Zoom, zoom. There's it's right, zoom it's right. Lens. There. There's a tiny little sliver of brightness coming through the trees as the sun is peeking up. And that's, of course, exactly 180 degrees this direction, 180 degrees the other direction from me is where the moon is. So they're in a perfect line, the moon being this way, the sun being that way. And if we drew a line from it to the earth, to the moon, it would be a nice, perfect straight line, of course. So if it wasn't, they wouldn't be in line and we wouldn't be having a lunar eclipse. So. I think that's it. It's warmed up just a little bit. It's probably up to at least 20 degrees now. You can definitely see the sun coming up now if you want to get one last little shot of that. Just a little blip there. And that's it. That was our amazing experience of a sunrise and lunar eclipse at the same time. Good morning.